It's the Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure, so it is an annual event that they hold um, around the nation. And here in Houston, it's in October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it is an organization that brings awareness about breast cancer, preventative measures, as well as raising funds and raising money for fighting for a cure for breast cancer. And then they also do other things besides just fighting for that cure. They also help provide mammograms for women who may need them during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so with uh, Houston Community College Student Life, we've been participating for about the past seven years with Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure. So it's something that we, you know, we hold heart to, um, to us at Student Life. And how we get students involved is that we actually have a team um, for HCC Student Life. And our team name is Team Tough Cookie. So we ask students to walk up under our name and our team as Team Tough Cookie. And usually, of course, we're able to meet downtown at Sam Houston Park and walk together as a big group and as a college representing Houston Community College. But during this time, the race is actually virtual. So we will be doing this walk virtually. So we won't be actually partnering, partnering and teaming up with our students and seeing them face to face. But this year we have asked them still to participate with us, but by doing it virtually and walking in their neighborhood where they are. So our students were able to register here with us with Student Life and Recreational Sports to receive a, receive a Team Tough Cookie shirt. We asked our students to put their shirts on and walk in their neighborhood or a local park, you know, social distancing to just help um, bring awareness about breast cancer awareness. And that way they can still feel a part of the program that is going on. We're just doing it, you know, virtually this year. So virtual walk, how it is, is that everyone can participate where they are. So you could participate in your living room. You want to go and walk around the block a couple of times in your neighborhood. You can do that as well. Or if you have a neighborhood trail that you, you would like to walk down, you can do that as well. We're just asking that we pull together individually, remotely here, but still come together to support this cause. When we went out in March, um, right after spring break, we did have to come together and think about how we're gonna still create this ultimate student experience for our students. So we bought it virtually, we bought it remotely, we bought it through Teams, we bought it through Cisco WebEx, we bought, bought it through Hopin, we bought it through Facebook Live, we bought it through Kahoot with our trivia. So everything has been transitioned virtually. So every experience that a student was able to get on campus with us, they can still get remotely and virtually. So our presentations that we do on breast cancer awareness, as we're bringing a guest speaker on. Students will still be able to interact through Zoom with our, our guest speaker. She'll be able to talk about her experiences with breast cancer and living with it and how her journey is. Students will be able to ask questions just as they were able to do face-to-face. -face. I wanna let you guys know that Student Life is here for you. We are still gonna be bringing those experiences to you um, from the presenters, from the social interaction, from our student organizations, as well from our SGAs. We are here to listen to your concerns and anything or any opinion suggestions that you may have. Student Life is still here. We're gonna still continue giving you that ultimate student experience. And if you need anything, please reach out to Student Life at hcc.studentlife at hccs.edu.